Hello everyone, Adrian Hughes here and today we're taking a look at CyanogenMod Mod 13 on the LG GPAD 8.3. So this isn't an official build of CM13 rather, this is a um, user compiled one for Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 and uh, we'll just run through the changes here quickly. I'll just show you the about screen here. So running 6.0.1 and we're up to date with the security patches at the 1st of February. So the first feature that you'll probably see is in the drop down notification shade on Cyanogen Mod. So we've got the ability to edit the tiles. Sorry, we can I'll press and hold tiles to rearrange here if we like. So this isn't present in stock Android. And also we've got another set of notification uh, sorry uh, shortcuts to certain things in the notification shade also the biggest change is that Cyanogen mod brings are its own audio equalizer so the audio effects here and the ability to double tap to wake and double tap to sleep so I'll take you through some of the things extra options in Cyanogen mod 13 we go to display, we've got the live display. So this will change the color temperature automatically based on the time of day. So you're not straining your eyes. For the double tap anywhere to wake the device, we'll turn it off. And we can change the LCD density, so, i.e. the DPI. We've also got the theme engine for CM13. So that's present there if you like it. few other options and tidbits in CM13 that's not present in stock Android. But as I'll show you, performance here, just loading pages on the internet now. It's pretty fluid. As you can see, scrolling is pretty good. Pinch to zoom, a bit choppy, but that's to be expected considering the age of the tablet doing pretty well considering this is on well uh, Cyanogen mod is yeah just based on the stock, stock Android marshmallow and it does pretty well we've got the task switcher here so it's pretty fluid as you can see I'll just try loading up a game here Just give you a few seconds of gameplay on this game. to this. Um, it's a quick look at CyanogenMod Mod 13 on the LG G-Pad 8.3. So it's a great way to get Marshmallow on this device and uh, I do believe this is probably the best ROM out there. So this is miles better ahead of the AOSB that I reviewed a week or so ago. Okay, that's all there is for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.